Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share, preach with the heart, with humility, and not just with the lips. And that people will listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Dear friends, uh, I understand we are now in MECQ. ECQ is for us encounter Christ quietly. So MECQ, well, more encounter with Christ quietly. And ECQ is also enhance charity quickly. Mag-share po tayo. What's MACQ? More enhancing charity quickly. So, stay with the Lord. Stay with the Lord. And the gospel today is interesting. Husbands and wives, I don't know if you listen because it said something about, uh, about wives and husbands. So I'll just quote from uh, the letter to the Ephesians. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as to the Lord. But the husband is the head of the wife. Claro. <laughs> I'm making sure many people are. But you know, I also have many friends who the husbands are the ones who are subordinate. Nasa agree business. I agree. Yes. Ano bang sabihin ni Ma? Yes. I agree. Uh, sabi nga nila, some husbands are like yung split type aircon. No? Very noisy outside, but very quiet inside. <laughs> yeah. And I, you know, the most subordinate husband I met was when a husband and wife, they were about 80 na siguro eh. They came to my office years ago and uh, the woman was the spokesperson. She kept, the husband was quiet, he was just smiling. And then the first thing the wife said, Father, he cannot, he cannot hear. Ang hina. So she kept talking. And the husband was just smiling, smiling. May baston ganun. And then she said, Father, mago confession siya, ha? Ah, sabi ko, oh, does he want to go to confession? Mago confession yan. Dinala ko dito para mag confession. Wow. Sabi ko, oh, okay. So, oh, di ka na, dito ka na. Maiwan ka na, ha? Kausapin mo si Father, mag confession ka na. And just before she left, she told me, Father, hindi nakakadinig, ha? Lakas mo lang boses mo. Opo, sabi ko. So, so, I started, Lolo, oh, magkukonfession kayo. Medyo malakas siyempre kasi nakangiti lang siya. Ano, mahal po tayo ng Panginoon ha, magsisi na, nakangiti lang siya. And then, he did, he did something, hindi na siya nag-smile, bigla siyang gumunon sa akin. Nag-wink. And then, he told me, Father, I can hear you. Hindi ba hindi ka makadinig? Father, akala lang ni Mrs. hindi ako nakakadinig for the past two years. <laughs> nakakadinig pala siya pero para wala nang problema, Father, parang bingi na lang ako. Selective hearing. <laughs> that really floored me. And my God. Anyway, this is a case here about the gospel, about selective hearing. Ayaw na nilang pakinggan. Yung mga sinasabi ni Jesus before the bread of life, okay, ayos yan. But when Jesus started talking about His flesh as food, His blood as drink, ah, iba na yan. Masyadong too much na yan. Sobrang over na. According to the gospel, from then on, many of his disciples stopped following him. 
many of the disciples returned to their former ways of life and no longer accompanied him. Because hindi na nila ma matiis, it's already hard to listen. Iba na ito. And here comes a beautiful, beautiful, uh, you know, action of Jesus. He kept telling the truth. He stood for the truth. Even if he was rejected, maybe persecuted, but he stood for the truth. Yan pong paalaala sa ating lahat ngayon. Stand for the truth. Stand with Jesus. Careful of truth decay. Truth decay. Nandyan po yan. You know naman, pag may ano tawag doon, may bulok ng ipin, mabaho po. We should stand for the truth. We salute people who stand for the truth until ito ang nangyayari. We salute you. You may be persecuted. You may be abandoned. You may be laughed at by this world. But Jesus is rooting for you. So stand. Stand for the truth no matter what. And stay with Jesus. Paki I just like to say this. We have to tell the world, tell the children that it's okay to tell the truth. Akala kasi na iba, everybody's lying na, pwede na mag No. It's okay, it's good to tell the truth. It's noble to tell the truth. And it's a God-sent, God-given obligation to tell the truth. May I salute all the truth tellers who fight tooth decay. And please tell the children also, it's okay to be kind. Parang kasi ang mode ngayon eh, yeah, matapang tayo sa lahat. Parang it's okay to be respectful. It's okay to be humble. It's okay to be gentle. We have to tell and retell the story of God's love from generation to generation. And God's truth will remain. No one, nothing can diminish God's truth. So stand by the truth. Stand with Jesus. And please remember, siguro itong magandang tanong ngayon sa ating lahat eh. When people are leaving, abandoning Jesus, He asked us today, do you also want to leave? Many times sa buhay po natin, we have choices to make. Will I stay with Jesus or will I leave Jesus? Again, marami sa atin, hindi lang selective hearing, selective following. I'll follow kung komportable, kung may perks, gano'n. Pero pag gipita na, ay sakripisyo na, ay hindi na muna. Ayun, placing, comfort zone, safety zones. Jesus asks nothing less, nothing but, but your true commitment all the time. Mahirap po. There are many times, like, for example, when I had to leave for Korea, I was a young priest. I said, wow, why did I go there? There was a, there was a um, mission assignment. Of course, you want to be here. I'm sure many of our missionaries who are going to the foreign missions, many times have thought, why should I go to Africa? Again, in the end, because that's what the Lord wants. So I will follow Him. Mga kapatid, Please, there are times when the Lord will ask you, O ano? Saan ka ba? And maganda rin tanungin, Who is your master? What is your master? Sino bang boss mo? 
Sino bang sinusunod mo? Sinong pinagsisilbihan mo? People come and go. Officials come and go. The Lord remains. At gusto kong tanigin po ngayon, okay, mga iba, wow, masyado kang tutok na tutok sa isang tao, parang, or, who is your master? What is your master? Sa mga taong who are so focused on personalities that could save us, or you're so focused on material things you're hoarding, ask yourself this question. Is is it worth it all? Lahat ng ginagawa mong yan. Is he worth dying for? Is that money worth dying for? Bottom line, you will come before God. You and I, haharap tayo kay Lord. Sino naging master mo? Anong naging master mo? Nung buhay ka pa. Sana po at that moment in time, wala po tayong pagsisisi na we loved the Lord too little, too late. So today, lahat po tayo, let's make a decision. Lord, no matter what, I will follow you. Kayo po ang aking Panginoon. This time, there are a lot of goodbyes. God is the Lord of all our hellos and goodbyes. Don't forget that. Especially po, yung mga namamatayan. Even death, the Lord is the Lord of death and eternal life. So all bases covered pag si Lord ang master mo. At walang, walang, walang pagsisisi. So today, let's tignan nga natin sino ba talaga. Stay. Yun ang hingin natin sa misang ito. Lord, give us staying power. That we stay, we remain. Ano yung madalas, bilib ako sa mga kahoy, punong kahoy. You know why? They stay. <laughs> Hindi naman sila umaalis. Napakainit, summertime, awang-awa ako, Diyos ko, kawawa naman mga ito. But wala sila magawa, but they stay on. In fact, hindi lang yun. They give the shade to other people, but they stay on. Hindi lang yan. Because they stay, they give beautiful flowers. And because they stay, they bear delicious fruits. This is something we must not forget that if you stay with the Lord, you will bear fruit. Unless you remain in me, you will not bear fruit. Fruit that will last. Years ago, there was this song. I don't know my fellow senior citizens can relate with this. It's about true happiness. True happiness will follow if you only follow me. That's from the Lord. Alam pa ba niyo yung tune nun? True, true happiness will follow. True, true happiness will follow. If you only follow true, true happiness will follow. If you only follow me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, may ganun pa. So, that for me describes what the Lord is telling us today. Stay with me. Trust me. Ano mang pinagdadaanan mo, hurts, pains, goodbyes, separation, death, stay with me. Yes, Lord, we will stay with you. And there's a promise here. Joshua. Ang ganda po yung sinabi ng Joshua, and I hope we all can say this to the Lord today. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Families who are listening now, may I invite you now to say aloud together this verse. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. 
One more time. Let's say it together. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. One more time. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's commitment. Remember every Sunday, I ask you to report, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's what it is. And there is a promise, huh? Listen to this. No harm will happen to you, and no misfortune will come to your home, because He will command His angels over you to protect you in His ways. You will be protected. Yun lang pong pangahawakan natin. Please, go on, no matter what. Don't leave. Don't abandon the Lord. And, uh, you know, pandemic, ang dami na pong nangyayari sa atin. But, hey, as long as you are with the Lord, marami pong mga simple joys. May I just share with you a simple joy? Okay. One and a half years. One of the things I learned ngayong pandemic was to cut my own hair. <laughs> Yun lang. Dati po, haircut at least once a month. Big monthly treat yan. Treat. It's a whole, naku talagang, I look forward. Parang, this was a, you know, big thing, big event. Now, Walang nagugupit. Baka mahawa. So, ang dali pala. Clipper, clipper lang. Ganun, ganun lang. Sa, sa, sa mirror, no? Pwede na, pwede na. Dito, sige, pwede na, pwede na. Kung may nakakita, oh, pwede, parang tagi, oh, sila na, oh, sige. But I do it. In three, five minutes, tapos na. Oh, tapos na. No big deal. You realize after a while, hey, with simplicity come simple joys. I hope you realize that. Isa sa mga bagay, if you stay with the Lord, you begin to discover the simple joys, the simple happiness. But you have to stay with the Lord. Focus, stay focused on the Lord. And today, I'd like also to ask you all, hope with me. Let's hope as one. Ano po yun? Let's hope na matapos na itong pandemic. Di ba? What is hope? Hope is a wish that is accompanied by a prayer that is based on someone, someone's word, someone whom you can trust. It's not an empty hope po sapagkat it's founded on the promise of God that He will be with us. So Lord, sana, sana matapos na po Baka sa December lang sana, kung pwede, tapos na. Liliwanag na ang gabi ng COVID-19. Oh, we can hope, can we? Father, masyado ka namang hopeful. <laughs> well, nothing is impossible. Let's continue to have that hope. And at sa'yo talagang matagal pa yan, sabi nila ganito. Uh, that's what they say. Fine, I respect that. But I also would like to say, there is a God. And miracles can happen. And He can make His own way. He will protect you in His ways. So hope with me. Let's keep hoping. And today, we honor Mama Mary who stayed with her son Jesus all the way until death, until the, all throughout Jesus' life. Mary is our queen. So I would like to pray to Mama Mary, let's all pray this beautiful prayer, actually the theme from the Cardinal, because we are all weak, many times we abandon Jesus. And so we pray, should my heart not be humble? Should my eyes fail to see? Should my feet sometimes stumble? Please stay with me. Stay with me. Like a lamb in the springtime, wanders far from the fold, comes the darkness and the cold, I get lost. 
I grow cold. I grow cold, I be weary, and I know I have sinned. And I go seeking shelter, and I get blown in the wind. Stay with me, till I find to my wonder every path leads to thee. So all I ask of you is, stay with me. Lord, stay with me. Stay with us, Lord. Like Mama Mary, our Queen, help us to stay with you. Help us not to leave you. Help us not to abandon you. Amen.